Hi, thanks for watching. This video is going to cover how to unlock a layer in a wall. So this would apply to a compound wall, so not a generic wall that's just, you know, a set thickness. Um, probably more common for a residential project where we want to maybe drag down the exterior finish over the edge of the floor. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. So I've already started with the residential default template. I've drawn some walls, uh, compound walls, and a floor, and I've created a section. So basically we're gonna just select one of the walls, um, edit type. We're going to edit the structure. We need to set the preview, and it needs to be in a section view. So then I'm just going to zoom in down here so you can pan and zoom just like you can, you know, in the view, you know, properties within a regular window. So then I'm going to click modify. Um, you kind of have to decide which things you want to drag down, maybe both of these. So whichever two you want to drag or whichever one, you'll just select it. It's kind of tricky. You have to see it. It seems more finicky than it used to be. Um, to get that lock to change so that it looks <laughs> pinkish. All right, so I'm fighting with this thing, but basically pick this, pick the line. It's very finicky. Did you see it kind of flash pink? Um, in older versions of Revit, I don't know why this was easier. This, I'm in 22 right now. I tried tabbing too. You can't even tab to get it, which would be much easier. Come on, buddy. I'm still trying to find out where the sweet spot is. Finally, um, so you'll do that for whichever layers. I'm just going to be happy with that one for now. So we'll say OK and OK. And then I'm going to look at my section and I'm going to set it to medium detail. And then we're going to drag this down. So that way it'll cover you know, the edge of the flooring. You probably want to go actually all the way to the bottom of the floor. And it should kind of snap. Um, I wouldn't lock it unless you have to. This is a 3D change, so it would happen in every single view, not just, you know, like a detail item that would only happen in the view you're in. So if you need a uh, lesson in patience, this is the one for you.